Yo, it's that bro Nez. Drop another review on y'all. And this time, what we're going to do in a review of is the... Bam! This is the... Mana Cold Koozie um, Can and Bottle uh, Cooler, or I should say. Um, or Insulator. As you see, there's the logo Mana Cold Koozie. And basically what this does... This keeps your cans and or bottles cool um, for a good amount of time. Uh, it's made of high grade um, stainless steel um, and holds 12 ounce cans or uh, 12 ounce bottles. Um, it's double wall insulated. Yeah, let, let me just uh, let you go up so you can just go around the box real quick. All right. Um, here you go right here. 18-8 grade high grade stainless steel keeps bottles and cans cool insulated to keep drinks cold double wall insulated anti anti corrosive food grade stainless steel BPA free lead free condensation free so basically it's gonna keep your uh, drinks cold uh, without the uh, the condensation that usually builds up around your drink so your hands stay dry and um and i'm sure when we get into this we're going to find out exactly how long it's supposed to keep it cold i'm sure there's something that says that um here goes some more artwork on the right side of the box as you can see there basically the artwork said the same on the left side of the box same as the right side except this time it's a bottle on this side instead of a can on the top of the box, you got your MANA logo. On the bottom of the box, you got your website address. If you need to um, make a complaint or anything, you got your barcode. You know, I like to show you the barcode. And like everything else, it's made in China. And the back basically just shows you more, you know, shows you exactly what it does, the same as it showed you on the sides. And then it shows you his little instructions. Basically, for a bottle, you just slide it right in, and for a cap, um, for a can, you uh, twist it off. They're actually saying that you can, uh, you have to twist it off for both the can or the bottle, the cap off, and then put it in, and put the cap back on top. But my friend actually has one of these, and um, for the, with the, you only have to do that with the can, with the bottle, because the bottle is a lot slimmer. You can usually just slide it right in. There you go. And there's a little safety warning there. So let's just get into this bad boy. See what we're working with. Okay. Got a red one right here. And we got a blue one right here. Red and blue, baby. The metal feels really uh, solid. Like I'm squeezing it and it doesn't like bend or anything. Here's the caps. Here's the caps to take off. And when you see inside, there's like a little rubber O-ring. This is to hold the bottle say, uh, um, This is to hold the bottle stable. When you push the bottle there, and that's why I said you could slip the bottle through the top because the rubber on top bends and the bottle slides in nice and tight. Whereas the can is. It's uh, too narrow for a can to uh, fit through, so you have to actually take it off for the can. But this this is a double, um, this ring is a double feature. Any water that, you know, because, just because you don't feel any condensation on your hands, the bottle still has condensation on it, or the can. So all that collects on the inside here. And this seal, when you tighten it up all the way, that rubber seal keeps it all in. So it doesn't come back out whenever you have your can or your bottle in there. So you're really not getting any condensation. The only moisture you get is if you actually spill your drink on yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a can of something and a bottle of something, put it in there, and um, and then uh, we're going to leave it in there for a couple minutes and uh, and see uh, how long um, it is that it's going to keep it cold. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out something. Okay, I got a bottle of Angry Orchard and I have a can of Angry Orchard. See now, the bottle, 
I'm gonna go ahead and stick it because it's blue stick it into blue and as you see it does slide right in just like my friend told me it would slides right in no problem all right and the can you have to take off the lid drop the can in put the lid back on nice and tight boom so got my can of drink or my can of drink and my bottle of drink so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes what I'm gonna do is uh, taste it make sure it's cold well I know it's cold it just came out the fridge uh, let me go get my um, let me go get my infrared thermometer so we can see what temperature we're working with real quick before I uh, put these in here keep it insulated take this out Let's take that out for now be right back in a second okay we back in got my thermometer as you can see I don't know if you can see the red light down there but um that's if you can see right there that's the temperature down there 81 degrees or 82 it might just be the temperature in here okay so I'm gonna put it on the can so you can see what the temperature is on the can so the can is at 62 degrees right now 60 degrees 59 60 60 between 60 and 62 degrees so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this can in here screw that on tight boom the bottle bottle 54 degrees 55 degrees okay so I'll drop the bottle in here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sit in there for about 10 minutes which is more enough time for the average drink to drop down at least a couple degrees to, uh, to for the temperature to raise at least a couple degrees on uh, both of these now this was 55 degrees and this was I forgot already 60 60 degrees yeah 55 60 degrees all right so I'm gonna put the timer on this let it go for 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back in and um, and see what the temperature see if they stay the same or even got colder maybe it even getting colder we'll see so um see you in about 10 minutes It's roughly 10 minutes, give or take. So now, we're gonna take the can out and see what the can temperature is. Now, the can was around 60 degrees. Let's see what she's at now. No change in temperature. Same thing, boom. So that's a go for the can. Now let's check out the bottle. The bottle was at 55. Looks like the bottle may have dropped some temp. No, wait. 53. Okay, so it dropped a little bit. But, um, I don't... I still think that's still a win. I mean, for 10 minutes sitting out, um, it's it was very it's very warm in here. Like I said, so the temperature in here right now, I've had the AC running for about an hour, and the temperature when I started in here was 95 degrees, and the AC brought the temperature down to 87. But like I said, I had to turn the AC off when I'm recording videos. So, so the temperature, you know, is right now it's like I said, it's 87 degrees. Um, and that's still warm in here. So as you can see, there's a lot of condensation around the bottle That should give you a testament to how warm it actually is in here. So I mean the fact that this held it within two degrees from its starting point for a little over 10 minutes 
I'd say that's a definite win. So you can literally have this outside in like 90 degree weather and have your drink sitting in it and it'll come back and it'll still be cold, cold enough to drink it. You know, as if like when you first opened up the can or the bottle. So I'm gonna say that these bad boys are a definite win. So with that being said, I'm Dapper Adez and this has been the official review of the Mana Cold Koozie uh, Drink Keeper Colders or whatever they call them. I don't even know how what you would call them. Uh, drink Temp Preservers. Um, uh, can, can coolers. Well, they're not can coolers because they don't make it cooler. It just maintains the temperature. So I'm going to say the uh, Demanda Cold Koozie um, can and bottle temperature maintainers. I'm that Brunez. I'm about to crack me one. Take me a sip. Ah, refreshing. And I'm out this piece.